Hey guys, it's me again. It's been a while since I last uploaded a video. Yeah, I got busy with school and to be honest, I didn't really have any ideas of what I should upload. But now with FIFA 22 around the corner, I was like, yeah, I gotta do something. And uh, I'm gonna be bringing you a bunch of videos helping you guys sort up your uh, teams, your clubs, how you should build your squad up. And this video is all about this for the Bundesliga lovers, including myself. I'm gonna do a Bundesliga only RTG, meaning I can only use players who played in the Bundesliga like icons, maybe like Philipp Lahm, Schweinsteiger, Matthias. No icons who didn't play in the Bundesliga like Pele, for example, or Maradona, or anyone who never played in the Bundesliga. And of course, I can only use players who are currently in the Bundesliga, so no Ronaldo, or Messi, Mbappe. All these guys will not be able to get into my team. If I pack one of them, I'm either gonna sell them or just put them into an SBC, depending on if they're tradable or not. So, this will be for another video. Today's video, though, I'm gonna tell you and show you which team you can actually take with you for the first few weeks. And just before we start, uh, these teams are gonna be hard to do right now because you know everything is expensive. Like Davis, for example, at like 60k. He's gonna be like 2k in a few weeks, maybe days, so uh, you will not be able to do this team right away, not even myself, I'm not gonna be able to do this, but I'm just talking in general, like which players you should be aiming for at the beginning of the game. Of course, if you're lucky enough, you're gonna pack a Ronaldo or Messi right off the bat, you're gonna have a million coins, you just go buy whoever you want, like the Goretzkas, the Haalands, all these good player, high tier players. But I was talking about if you don't have coins, like maybe you have 100k from rivals and you wanna know which team you should do. If you're gonna do a Bundesliga team at the beginning or just like me, you're gonna only do Bundesliga teams. This is the video for you, I'm gonna talk about, about that. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. Alright, so starting with the team and of course starting with the goalkeeper, we have Kobo from Borussia Dortmund. He is, I think, six foot three. He's pretty tall. He has decent stats. That is why I picked him. He's gonna carry you through like the first week or two. He's gonna do the job. Maybe you can upgrade later for Jan Sommer or Kevin Trapp. Or if you really have money, you can just get Manuel Neuer. But for the first two weeks or three, depending on your coins, I think he's gonna do the job. Moving on to the right back, we have Kevin Mbappe from Wolfsburg. He's been a FIFA legend in the last few years. Uh, he has decent pace, decent physical stats, not the best defending, but with an anchor, which is what I would recommend. Chemistry style, he is gonna have some good defending, and he can also attack. If you're like me, you like to attack with the fullbacks to put more pressure on the opponent and to have more choices in attack. I think he does the job really well. And for our center backs, we're gonna have just for mine that Opamecano from Bari. Let's just begin with just. The reason you're gonna pick him is of course because of his face. His other stats are not the best, but his face will pretty much just deal with any quick attackers. Maybe with an anchor or a sentinel, you can just boost his defending and physical so he can deal with like strong attackers like Haaland or Lewandowski or Lukaku for example. But if you're gonna want someone to deal with like Mbappe or Sterling or all of these Pacey attackers, he's gonna be the man for the job, and that is why I pick Opamecano next to him because we already have pace in the defending. Now we want someone strong, someone big to deal with all the other attackers. He can just get the ball out of anyone. He is also not the slowest, he has I think 81 pace. So if you can have a shadow on him, it's gonna be an amazing partnership. Alternatives could be Lacroix, who has 88 pace, I think. Maybe you can even get Homos. I know it's weird, but Homos for me is also a really good center back. Of course, he's really slow, but you need that defending. He's always at the right time, at the right place to intercept the balls, to do the tackles. So if you want to change your play style a little bit, maybe try something new. I would say Homos, he's only 4k on the market, so why not give him a try? If you cannot use him, then there are a lot of uh, center backs at the Bundesliga. On the market, you can even use Lucas Hernandez, who's a left back, but he can surely play a center back, and he in real life plays as a center back for Bayern Munich. Moving on to the left back, we have probably the most expensive player in this team, Alfons 
so Davies is going to be hard to get for sure. Um, but he really is one of the best left backs in the game at this moment. He, I think, is the fastest uh, sorry defender in the game with 96 pace. He has good dribbling and he has decent passing. So we just need if you're gonna put him on stay back, a sentinel or a backbone is gonna work for me. I like attacking with my fullbacks as I said, so I'm gonna give him a backbone just to boost that passing a little bit and of course you're still gonna boost defending and physicality, you do not need to boost his pace, he already has 96, so you don't really need to boost that much. Now moving into midfield, we're gonna start with Emre Chan from Borussia Dortmund, he is one of the best early stage CDMs in the game. He has 97 sprint speed with a shadow, which is the chemistry style I would recommend. It could be a little bit expensive, but it is worth it. He has good shooting, passing, not the best dribbling, but it's usable. He also has amazing physicality and defending. You can use him as a stay back CDM or a get forward CDM. You can really do anything with him. You can even use him as a center back if you want to. He would do the job there. And the other CDM would be Cornel Leimer from RB Leipzig. He does have 81 pace. Uh, not the best shooting or passing, but we're gonna stick with his defending and physicality with an anchor. He is pretty good and he would surely do the job for the early weeks, like first week or two. Now, moving on to our camp position, it's gonna be Christopher Kunku, also from RB Leipzig. He has 79 pace, not the best, but with a hunter. He goes up to 89, which is way more than enough for a camp. He also doesn't have the best shooting, but with a hunter, he does the job. As an added bonus, he does have the finesse shot and outside foot shot traits, so he's gonna help you a lot. Of course, his dribbling and passing are good enough for the first three weeks. Now, moving on to the wingers, we have Musa Diaby. He has 94 pace. But to be honest, his shooting and passing are not the best, uh, so that is why I want to him out the dead eye. His dribbling is amazing, he is small, he has a lot of agility and balance, he will dribble really nicely. And for the right mid position, we have Silas. He will be not the best, but he will be a valuable option you can use. He's gonna be cheap, and he's gonna do the job, I guess. He has 87 pace, and the other stats are not Good, to be honest but I think he will do the job for the first week at least uh, moving on to the striker we have Malen from Borussia Dortmund as well he has 90 pace I would say give him a finisher chemistry style he's gonna have amazing dribbling and shooting he will be really well rounded he'll have pace shooting and dribbling and I would say this team would be really nice alternatives as I promised you would be for right back, I'm gonna choose Nordi Mukieli from RB Leipzig. For center back, I'm gonna also have Tapsoba, just like I said with Homos, Luca Hernandez. We're gonna have Tapsoba and Kemp from Stuttgart. We're gonna have Russell Young as a left back, he's also decent for the beginning of the game. For CDMs, we're gonna have a player who's called So from Frankfurt. He has 79 pace and 79 physical. All of these are pretty much cheaper options than the ones I talked about in the video so if you're short on coins you can get these and also in midfield we're gonna have Jude Bellingham he is 79 rated, he's cheap, he has 75 pace and a really well-rounded player we're gonna have Thurgan Hazard for the wings with Bellarabi and also for the camp position we're gonna have Sobosploy from RB Leipzig and for the striker position we're gonna have Bebu from Hoffenheim, he has 90 pace, 80 dribbling, I would also recommend a finisher chemistry style for him. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and liking the video as it would really help me out. These videos take so long and they take so much effort from me, so I would really appreciate all the support I can get. So yeah, I hope this was helpful for you and good luck to everyone in FIFA 22. And I'll see you all down the road.